Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have another engine teardown for you. This is a VQ35DE out of a Nissan 350Z. I just picked this motor up the other day, and I was told that it seized. So we're going to get on this crank quick and see what happens. All right, let's see how this goes. Actually, it spins over pretty well. Oh, you guys hear that? We got some clunkiness in there. It doesn't feel seized, but definitely don't have some good bearings somewhere in there. Let's start tearing into this thing and see what's wrong with it. First thing I'm going to do is get all these hoses and the wiring harness off of this motor. Now I'm going to start getting all the little brackets and metal lines, pretty much everything I can get off this motor to make it less complicated. Go ahead and get this throttle body unbolted. Now we're going to unbolt the top part of the plenum, which is all these 10 mils everywhere. Come right off. Pretty clean all in there. There's a little bit of puddle of dried up oil there. This side actually has some chunky stuff in it. Another puddle of oil right there. Let's get this plate off so we can get to the bolts below. I think we should be able to unbolt the bottom part of the plenum now. Yes. Give it a shot. I don't even think I need to take that plate out. I'm so attached to something. Metal pipe right here. There we go. Perfect. I did need to take that plate off because these bolts hold that bottom piece of the plenum in. All these runners are fairly clean and normal. And these two, especially this one, has a bunch of oil and chunky oil at that in it. You can see the valves down there. Those look pretty good. Those look pretty good. Those as well. Something hanging off the side of the port in there, but that looks... Good other than that, I think that's some built up carbon. A little oily on that left valve. That one looks pretty good. Got the fuel rail out right now. This one injector decided to pop off the rail. There we go. Now that one's out. Man, that ring shot. No wonder it was stuck in there. Let's get this unbolted. Man, everything comes apart pretty easily on this. I'm going to get the coil packs off both sides, and then we're going to get the spark plugs out and see what they look like.
But here are our spark plugs. They all look pretty good. Besides, this one is really covered in soot and grease. These two are a little dark. But luckily, none of them look like they've made contact with the piston. So, I think our heads might be okay. That bolt was ridiculously tight, but it's loose now. No pulley puller. Sweet. I guess I gotta pull that off. Let's get to work on pulling this timing cover off. I've never pulled one of these apart before, so we're going to see how this goes. All right, after fighting with this, I'm thinking there might be some bolts that go up through the bottom and go into this. There might not, but I'm not going to risk it and sit here and try to pry on it and break stuff. So we're going to go ahead, flip this over. Actually, let me see if I can drain oil out of it first. Then we're going to flip it over and take the lower pan off and see if there's some bolts going up through. We've got some bearing foil right there. few chunks of it. Looking pretty good. We also have some stuff in the pickup. That looks like RTV in there though. Other than that, can't see much else yet. I was right. There are two bolts in the front here. They look to be 12s that run all the way through to our front cover. There we go. Now we should be able to get that off. Now let's flip it back around so all the rest of the oil just dumps on my floor. That looks like a fun mess I gotta take apart. Get these valve covers off now. Pretty dirty. Cleaner than I expected though. Looks 
be the same for this side. There's RTV on the back of the cam over here though. That's interesting. Let's get all these caps off. Take them off on both sides. The journals on these cams aren't looking so great. See that one has a few grooves in it there. That one, you can see a few grooves. A few grooves, actually it looks like that one's sparkly. A few grooves in there. Same story on this side. All the journals just have some grooves in it. That one actually looks pretty decent. This thing was definitely starved of oil. Let's actually pull this out quick. Those all look pretty good. A few light scratches in that. That's actually in pretty good shape compared to how the cam looks. See all the sparklies all over the place. So the journals on the head actually are in decent shape. You can see a little bit of light scratching in the middle of them. But I think they're saveable. Obviously these aren't. I didn't clean that one. You can't replace the bearings in these, so when they're shot, they're shot. But these ones are in good enough shape. You can see that one looks fantastic. But I think this head is still usable. It's not scrapped just yet. Now let's get these head bolts out and get these heads off. Well, I lost the footage of me taking the head bolts out, but now we're going to take the heads off so we can see what's going on in here. I don't know if you can see that. Got a stuck open valve right there. Doesn't look to be bent. Just stuck open. Everything else looks about normal besides a little bit of oil there. And you see that besides the coolant coming out. A little bit extra clean right there, and you can kind of see the mark of a piston. See, these ones still have dirt. That one's extra clean. It's because the piston came up and gave that one a tap. So I'm betting that's the one that we had the rod knot coming from. So what happened here? Motor had a rough life. Let's get this side off now. This one has two stuck valves. Both of these intake valves are stuck open. No clean spots on this one though, so I'm thinking all these pistons are good to go. What is that? All these pistons look good over here. None of them are moving. On this side, these two are good. Let's see, they Look pretty good. Boards actually don't look horrible. That one's got some scoring. And this is the one that you see the clean spots on from it touching the head. Oh yeah. I think we're missing a bearing on that one. And we're going to get the rest of these bolts off and get the oil pan off of here. See nothing yet. Let's get the windage tray off. Oil pickup. The pump off of here now. I think that's got a little bit more play in it than it's supposed to. 
You also see the coloration. It's had some heat in it. See how this rod's darker than that one? That would be because the bearing went missing. Let's get these things out now. Well, that one's not doing so good on the bearing either. It looks like they're just on top of each other. Oh yeah. Those are glued to that rod. I'll show you that when we get them out. So that bearing is supposed to not be there. <laughs> yeah. That one spun a bearing. That was cylinder one. Oh look, there's the other half. It just spun right on top of each other. Well, I see what's left of the bearing. really didn't want to come out. <laughs> that little sliver right there, that is all that's left of the bearing. Can't find a single other piece of it here. It's just gone. Those are the bearings that just came out of that rod. Look at how scuffed up those are. These two are doing much worse. You can see it actually ripped off some material there. And that one's got a uh, dark spot in it. So that had some heat in it. Bad. Same bad story on those. Big grooves. Dark spots. Well, the other bearing flew off somewhere, but this one tells the story enough. Material is gone right there in the middle. Big grooves down it. Alright, I had to go out and get this special socket. Because, of course, these are like the inverted torque bolt bolts. So, now we're going to go ahead and break these loose and see what these main bearings look like. There's our girdle. Get these caps off now. If they feel like it. See a bunch of scoring on that bearing already. Get out of there. That bearing is spun, stuck to the crank. Here's our thrust bearing. Get out of there. That bearing 
also appears to be spun. I can see some uh, bearing foil just spinning out the sides. The thrust bearings are also pretty chewed up there on the sides. Last tap. Man, these bearings are all stuck to the crank. Somebody ran this thing dry of oil. See that bearing? That's destroyed. That actually looks like material from the other bearing spread onto this one. Now let's yank this crank out finally. If we can. Yeah, it looks like those bearings separated. I'll show you those then. These are the two that were stuck together like a clamshell. They actually don't look as bad as I thought they would for being stuck together. <laughs> I guess they just got a little heat on them and kind of fused the ends. But they were free spinning in there too, so. Alright, so the bores in this block are not bad. I think this block might still be usable. They have a little bit of light scratch in there, but that would hone out no problem. Nothing too crazy anywhere. Thinking I got a good block out of this. Just a hone job and be sent out the door. I can definitely sell this. So we got a good amount of usable parts out of this motor. I think the only thing that was really bad is the crankshaft and two rods, scrap the pistons too. So I'll be able to sell the block, the heads, all the covers off this thing. Should be able to make out pretty good on this thing. But thanks for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.